Hey guys, so I went ahead and ordered some of the new Chanel Rouge Coco Blooms. And these are new lipsticks that are coming out on Chanel.com, at least in the US, I believe today. So I'm gonna leave a link down below uh, in my description box where you can find them. I went ahead and ordered six of them from um, my sales associate down in the Miami Chanel Boutique. Um, he kind of gives me like the early inside tip on things and allows me to purchase things uh, a little bit on the early side so that I can get reviews up for you guys. So I haven't even opened up the box yet. I did wanna show you the beautiful packaging, of course. So I ordered six different shades. I think I ordered six. Chanel just came out with new uh, blushes. So basically they're reformulating all of their blushes, which made my heart palpitate a little bit. And I ordered like five of those and six of these. I feel like I'm messing up the quantities for each, but I think I ordered six of these new Rouge Coco Blooms. So let's go ahead and just dive right into my order here. Uh, he gave me a lot of samples in here. So yes, yeah, so I ordered six of them. And so I'll be doing some arm swatches and some lip swatches for you. So these Rouge Coco Bloom lipsticks are described, and I'm on the Chanel site, they're described as a hydrating, plumping intense shine lip color and there are 20 shades available they do retail for forty dollars i'm just going to look up rouge coco flash just to see the difference in description because i think that's what i was most curious about because they look to me they just kind of looked similar okay so the rouge coco flash is described as a hydrating vibrant shine lip color and what was bloom again <laughs> so bloom was hydrating plumping intense shine lip color okay so i'm just going to go ahead and unbox all of the colors that i purchased and i'm just going to read a little bit of the description here on the chanel site for you as i do this so it's a lipstick that combines long wearing intense color and a high shine finish with hydrating benefits okay i don't think the rouge coco flash has ever claimed to be long wearing at least i hope not because it really isn't but let me just go back to the description of the Rouge Coco Flash. I'm like obsessed with comparing these two, I don't know why. So Rouge Coco Flash, a comfortable lipstick with intense color that transforms on contact with lips for an enhanced high shine effect. Okay, so no claims for long wearing with the Rouge Coco Flashes like there are with these new blooms. So I would say that's probably the big, as, as far as I can tell with all of this like wording, it's probably the, the biggest difference between the two. Um, but we'll also be able to tell with pigmentation. So here is the Rouge Coco Bloom packaging. So instead of gold, there is silver. And here's a Rouge Coco Flash just for comparison. So same exact size, just different finish for the metal. And then they do both have like the clear tops. But again, in the flash, you can see uh, a little bit of the gold. And then in the bloom, you see the silver. So the first color that I purchased is number 110, Chance. And here is what Chance looks like. And here is an arm swatch. And let me go ahead and do a lip swatch for you. Ugh. Mmm. Wow. Okay, really, really soft, really moisturizing on the lips. And I would say definitely it has more pigmentation than the Rouge Coco flashes. And the formula is as, as like moisturizing and creamy as it feels. It's a little bit less, like the Rouge Coco flashes feels like there's a lot of oils in there. And so it feels a little bit looser. <laughs> I always use that word because I can't think of anything else, but it just feels a little bit looser and thinner, I guess you could say. This one feels, more creamy versus oily. Mm. Almost like it's more buttery. Ooh, how lovely. So this is number 110 Chance. Oh, I had my coffee sitting back there. Let's do a little drink test while we're at it. I, I can't imagine that these are very long wearing, but let's see. Quite a bit of transfer. There's still a lot of pigmentation left on my lips though. I don't think I'll be able to report back to you today as to how long wearing these are, but I will definitely, definitely let you know in a future video. I also feel like these aren't incredibly shiny. When I read the description and it said high shine finish with hydrating benefits, I really thought it was gonna be one of those like really like high glossy glosses, but I don't really see that. But uh, let's keep trying all of the colors. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this one. All right, so next up I have number 114, Glow. And here is 
what glow looks like. And here is an arm swatch of glow. And let me go ahead and apply. All right, there is glow. Wow, I do feel like these start out with a high shine. You can probably see it with this one. But I feel like they kind of set down. I'm actually gonna sit here for a couple minutes and see if this sets down. I wonder if that is what I needed to wait for with the first one before I took a drink of coffee just to see if it kind of, you know, sets down and kind of creates a longer lasting finish. So anyway, I'm just gonna sit here for a couple minutes. I'll be right back. All right, it's been about a couple minutes. I definitely feel like there is a setting down factor to this lipstick because when I kind of like move my lips together, when I smush them together, um, the formula doesn't feel quite as uh, creamy as it did when I first applied it. It really feels like it's kind of drying down a little bit, but not to the point where it's completely like dried down. It's just um, drier <laughs> than when I first applied it. All right, I'm gonna do a little kiss test. Oh yeah. Oh, how interesting. So, wow, well, that was really, here we go. <laughs> So that is all that came off. Wow, that's really, really cool because it definitely, like I said, it is definitely drying down, but it doesn't feel dry at all. It still feels like a creamy lipstick on my lips. Oh, neat, okay, all right. Uh, let me go ahead and take this off and I will put on the next shade. All right, the next shade I purchased is 116 Dream. And, oh, you know, I assumed that the shades were gonna go from light to dark uh, as the numbers progressed, but this one is lighter than the 114 Glow that I just put on. So here is 116, what did I just say? 116 Dream. And here is an arm swatch of that. And now let me go ahead and apply it. Yeah, these go on almost like a really kind of creamy, highly pigmented lip gloss. That's kind of how they feel when you first put them on. And then it dries down. It dries down a little bit. So interesting. So this kind of high shine that you see at first, you're not going to see that within a few uh, minutes. It's definitely going to kind of leave more of like a satin finish versus this high shine. So. I prefer a satin finish versus a really high shine. I always feel like when I see high shine on people's lips, it always just kind of looks like they're drooling. So I prefer something that's a little bit more dulled down. Uh, so that's my personal preference. So I'm happy for that. And this formula is really, really interesting. I can't believe like how little came off on that kiss test. Um, so anyway, this is number 116 Dream. And then next I have 130 Blossom. This is such a Michelle, <laughs> Michelle color. I, of course, had to get this bright red orange. And let me go ahead and apply it. Oh, yes, yes. I <laughs> love this color. I love it so, so much. This color, I mean, I like to wear it all year round because I feel like it looks great for the holidays as well. But when I see this color, I just think of like, spring, summer, like a summer vacation, beachside, poolside, like, oh, it's such a like, I don't know, vacation kind of color. I just love it. So this is 130 Blossom. All right, next up I purchased 134 Sunlight. Yeah, I was hoping that this was gonna be kind of like a burnt red and that's what it looks like in the tube, but here is an arm swatch of it. And let me go ahead and apply it. Oh yeah, what a nice warm red. And it's not quite as bright as uh, Blossom, obviously, but it's not too deep. Beautiful, wow, I really like this color, sunlight. I feel like usually when I get reds that are a little bit more on the warmer side, like a little bit like burnt terracotta looking, I always find they're a little bit deeper than this. This is really, really nice for the upcoming warmer months, just something a little brighter. Ooh, so that is 134 sunlight. All right, and a testament to this formula, I have very dry lips and I've swatched five of them and I'm usually ready to stop after like four or five swatches, but my lips feel great. So definitely a testament to this formula. Um, so last but not least, I have shade number 146 Blast. This is, I think the deepest color, a little bit deeper than Glow. And here's an arm swatch of it. And let me go ahead and apply. 
All right, this is a little bit of a deeper red than the one I just tried. I already forget the name. Sunlight. It's a little bit deeper than sunlight, but it's also not quite as uh, warm toned. I want to say it's kind of hard to tell. I feel like this has the slightest like slightest hint of like a berry just just a little bit but this is shade number 146 blast Ooh, i'm really happy with like the array of colors that i got um it's sometimes hard <laughs> it's always hard to tell when you're like online shopping but yeah i love all of the colors that i got and i think they all have like they all serve different purposes Ooh, very exciting and before i forget to mention i kept forgetting to mention because Upon first application, I feel like I smell a little something and I almost can taste something, which I don't like when it comes to lipstick, but it dissipates really quickly. So by the time I'm done applying the lipstick, I don't feel like I smell or taste anything. Definitely don't taste anything anymore. Yeah, it's very, very light. It's there though. So if you don't like any fragrance at all in your lipsticks, you're not going to like this because there is, there is something there. So I did just want to mention that. And I'm going to do it again just with this deep color. I'm going to sit here for a couple of minutes and I want to do another kiss test because when I did the kiss test, I felt like it was with a lighter shade. So I want to get a better sense of how long wearing these are. So I'm going to sit here for a couple of minutes again and then I'll be right back and we'll do another kiss test. All right, it has been about three minutes. So let me make sure I don't have the lipstick on from before. Okay, clean hand. So that's as much that comes off. That is what is left. That's really interesting. It almost looks like I have a gloss on, like that's how much pigment would come off if I had a gloss. I mean, again, not completely transfer resistant, but wow, there's plenty still left and a lot more than you would think when you feel this lipstick because it is so creamy. Wow, I'm really like, I'm really amazed. I'm really amazed by that. Okay, anyway, those are the six uh, shades that I got. There are a lot of shades available and I believe these are available now. So anyway, I'll leave a link down below in my description box if you're interested. Let me know if you have any questions down below in my comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.